is something that you, you did not join, not come and put a song down. Fear men. Fear men. Fear men. My name is Favor Andrews, aka Dark Girl. And if you're here for the first time, like you're seeing this pretty face for the first time, please go down, click on the subscribe button, and join the Dark Girl family. And if you've been here before, like you've been watching my videos, you've been liking the comments, and you know you're doing the do, thank you so much and welcome back. Okay, so actually, it has been a minute since I last posted here and that's because school resumed and you know everything everything happening actually is been I wouldn't say hard to keep up but for a while one side suffered and it had to be my YouTube uh, videos or yeah that suffered but I think now I've been able to do my checks and balances and we'll be back so uh that's basically all that has happened it has just been school 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 you know how it goes but then we're back our backs for good <laughs> i put up a question tag on my stories on snapchat and by the way if you're not if you don't have me like if you're following me on snapchat or on instagram and all of that my handles will be on the screen so you can always you know and then in the description box too my link will be there so you could just tap on it and then it will take you directly to my page so yeah i put up um a question tag on all of my stories snapchat instagram you know whatsapp and everywhere asking you all to tell me your worst friendship experience and some of you did that of which i'll be reacting to i should start with mine i think it was back in the days you know secondary school and everything i'm not going to go into deep details because of course i must have forgotten i don't like to keep things in my heart i mean this place is all pure and <laughs> clean positivity and you know good vibes okay so i think it had to do with giving out so much and not getting anything in return don't get me wrong it's not like i did so much to expect but okay you know when you guys are friends yeah and you're looking out for each other like when is your own like if something happens you should like they're your friends you're looking out for them they should look out for you too but then it seemed like i was just all alone do you get something will happen i won't even have anybody pulling up for me or stuff like that so but then we move you know that was Back in the day, I'm going to be reading people's experiences. Let's get right into it already. <laughs> okay, so somebody said my worst friendship experience was when my high school friend of five years finally opened up to me and told me I forced myself on her, and she has never actually liked me but had to be friends since I would let her be. Still hurting from that, but I've moved on. To be honest, I don't know how I would feel if my friend of five years comes to me and tells me that she was forced to be friends with me because I was forcing myself on her. Like, first off, personally, I hate to seem like I'm forcing myself on anyone. So if somebody comes and tells me, ah, to be honest, I don't know how, it will get to me really bad. And if I even saw you, because to me, yeah, see, there's acquaintances and there's friends. I have a whole lot, like, a whole lot of acquaintances. But if I call you my friend, and then you come telling me this guy, you're bashing, like, you're bashing my chest, like, you're just cutting the whole thing. But like she said, we moved. There's no point staying and then telling one all of that. Of course, it was in the past. Oh, this one is long. Okay, so this person said, I had this friend, we were really close and all of that here, like there's nothing we didn't do together but somehow I knew she was jealous of me for reasons I know of till today. These are two incidents that made me cut her off. One Christmas, because we always travel together to the village every December, so I got her to come travel with us that December since she wasn't doing anything in Lagos, which she didn't mind, plus her parents were cool with 
each other so it was easy for her she, she came and it was fun we were literally having fun all through but this girl went behind my back to tell some of her friends that we weren't treating her right in our house she said that i'm rubbing our wealth on her face and so many distasteful things for no reason this was someone that i was even giving her my clothes because she didn't bring enough to go out she had access to the kitchen without disturbance literally everything she wanted she got so why would she go and say rubbish about me that i don't know i confronted her about it when i found out though and she apologized saying she didn't mean all of them and all those flimsy excuses and i forgave her and actually overlooked it i think that wasn't enough there's another one. Oh, okay another time because we were close and all so we had a lot of talks now you know girls and this boy talks which is completely normal as friends so she knew my boyfriend at the time sometimes if i'm going out with him i bring her along not knowing she was having other thoughts in her mind Sha. well one time she decided to text my guy and send him her nudes with the caption i'm way better than her try me mad like girl what the same way she sent it to me was the same way he forwarded it to me that was it for me like after that the friendship ended because i just realized she was fake like too fake i really liked her and i showed it but she just pretended all through anyways that's my worst um friendship experience so i really don't know what to say about this song but i know that humans there are a whole lot of snakes in human form i understand the side where she went to go and tell somebody that um they're not treating her right although she thought she had no reason to do that like she had no reason to do that but i can actually understand for that maybe she's jealous and then she's feeling bad maybe i don't know whatever the case was but how going behind your man to send you nudes and all i mean she deserves to be cut off please like, the way she will cut her off was was small me i would have cut you i would have used machete eh? If there's anything bigger than matcha, that's what I've used to cut you off because I mean, what's this? Somebody said my worst friendship experience was with a friend who would always save their money and spend my own. Sorry, what? You, sp you save your own to spend my own, like. <laughs> what do you think you're doing, B? What, what, like, what exactly do you think you're doing? Actually, it has not happened to me before. All my friends, we spent. Even when one person doesn't have, you spend. There are times I wouldn't have, and my friends would spend, like, for all of us. There are times one person will not have. That's how we are. So I've never really had a friend that would save house and spend my own. Oh, no. If there's any friend like that, like, you save your own, and it don't finish now, like, <laughs> it's finished. Like, you can't be my friend because. Why are you saving your money to say to spend my auto say I built your dollar dot awards? Please, please, I'm a cut, 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 cut you off. <laughs> Somebody said this is a whole lot of girl, girl, girl issues, girl going behind guys. Okay. I met this girl for the first time through my then boyfriend, now ex Sha. We clicked and all and we became friends. I was very unsuspecting because I trusted my ex so much. <laughs> okay. So yeah, we became close, but I didn't know this girl was dead ass in love with my boyfriend. And she was just friends with him to facilitate our breakup. Mad. Mad. <laughs> when that didn't work, she started getting close to my ex and we eventually started having some problems. We tried working on it, but during this period, he cheated on me with her. Bam! Typical bam! Fear men. See men? Fear men. Fear men! Oh, so. You came to be friends with me because you love my boyfriend. And you're friends with me because you want to facilitate, you know, you want to cause a son that put a son that. It's something that you did not join, not come and put a center, make us break up so you not enter the picture. So it wasn't working from my own end, and you went over to my boyfriend to do whatever you did, and then you ended up sleeping with my boyfriend. 
And she said she trusted her ex, I mean her, her then boyfriend, yeah. She said she trusted him. Fear men. Fear men. Fear men. She said I trusted. Trust or give me. Trust or what? Like. <laughs> Someone said. So this girl was actually my best friend. Like she has passed acquaintance, past friend, and got into best friend. Okay. And there was a guy that came as a new student to our class. After some months, I didn't actually notice anyway, but she told me he had feelings for me. And I did too at the time. But later on, after almost a year of everything, she started telling the guy negative stuff about me. I found out much later after the guy and I were on talking terms. He said that she told him that I wasn't good enough and all of that. I could go blame him for not talking to me about it, but it was sad because she actually wanted the guy to herself and that's why she said all those things. And because of that, I can't really trust anyone. Oh well, to be honest here, yeah, if you like me and then you hear stuff because see, since my dress says too, that's what I said it. Like that's I used to hear that people used to talk bad about people though, but it was from my GSS so that I <laughs> experienced it. I'm like, eh, for this like for this life every day like this, like whole of stuff were said about me, stuff I didn't even know about, like stuff I never did, like they never even came into my head before. But then it was going around that he would be what did that. If you're my friend and you hear something about me, in fact as my friend you've been close to me, you should know what i can do and what i cannot do but at the same time people change people pretend so i can't even judge anybody in fact i won't even advise anybody to defend anybody you can defend though but then don't shaggle extra don't sweat for anybody because you come and die on top of something you don't know about you get so if you're my friend and somebody tells you something about me first off you should know what I, what I can do and what i cannot do if you even get confused or if you actually do this i feel like the next thing that should come to your head is confront favor. I mean, you guys are friends for a reason. You guys are friends for a reason. If you're my friend, you should be able to call me to order. I call you to order. Yeah, you talk to me, so why would you, based on what somebody said about me, you're taking space, creating distance and all of that. Oh my god, I said she. For me, yeah, the guy actually flopped for not confronting her. Oh, it's all part of life drama, but she, me, that kind of person, I'll cut her off because it's only jealousy and envy that would do that. Because even if, even if it's not more to like people, to be honest, it's normal. We are human beings. You can develop feelings for your friends, boyfriend. At that instance, you're supposed to just distance yourself, take yourself out of, out of the picture. Whatever it is that's going to make you lose those thoughts, <laughs> they're just <laughs> yes, lose the thoughts from your mind. Do it and then. Get that from drama because this life is already how would you be creating drama for yourself like like extra drama that's not needed okay so i cannot read pigeon i'm sorry guys oh um, my friend will carry my clients because i trusted him so much after he collected my clients he still went ahead and slept with my crush back then and still came back to motivate me to go and run the girl like alpha now boss alpha like what is your what's your aim first of all you took somebody's client business partner or whatever and then next off you went ahead to go do things with the girl he likes and stuff like that he probably must have confided in him and be like ah guy i like this babe i want to things with her with her and then you from nowhere you just went back I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to say, but man, man, I thought that guys are even better at this bro code thing than girls, but apparently it's not. It's like it's not. I had this friend who was always about herself. My problems meant little or nothing to her. She also was incredibly judgmental and chastised me on several occasions for making mistakes. Well, as friends, you guys should be able to tell your friend oh this thing you're doing is wrong but then in as much as you're trying to correct your friend you shouldn't do it in a bad way like you're meant to talk to her like talk to her or oh, be this thing you did i didn't like it or even if it wasn't to you or to somebody else i feel like this is how you should have gone about the thing so your friends are supposed to like call you like 
drag your attention to this thing, I have see this thing, you know, too pure. Trigger me. But why would you be chastising your friend like in a bad way? No, that's actually not good. And as for not even thinking about your friend's problem, oh well, that's actually very selfish. Very, very selfish. Very, very selfish. Dirty doings everywhere. Dirty doings. It's really, really sad. But I mean, I feel like it's only going to get worse because the society is actually getting like a whole lot of shit happening now. A whole lot of even siblings are killing each other. Not to mention friends. I mean, who are you? Not the one mama bonus. So like, who am I to watch your back? It's like that. Because when I hear stories of how siblings kill the other, all of that nonsense, like it's just sha sha sha. Be careful out there. Be careful with friends, with siblings, with everybody. Love regardless, like spread love regardless of everything. But at the same time, be careful. Be your own keeper. Don't wait for somebody to be your keeper. Don't expect somebody to come and watch your back or keep. Jigger, be your own keeper first. Look out for other people. Irrespective of the fact that whether they are looking out for you or, or they are not, shall just try and be looking out for people in the little way you can and then just live your life. Me, uh, Omar, I'm heavy on trust issues. Like, if I trust you to be telling you things about me, then it choke. Jigger, I have trust issues. Like, I don't, I don't easily trust people like that. Or even if I trusted you and then something happens, um, together I trust back. You know, I just do we move, we move, it's fine, we move. That is me. Do you get? We've come to the end of the video anyways. We've come to the end of the video. And I want to thank you guys so much for sticking on with me. Like, we to 300 subscribers. Like, you guys. This love is too much for me. This love is too much for me. This love, irrespective of the fact that I'm not being consistent like for the past one month or three weeks or there about because of school but then i still come every day i'm seeing new subscribers i really 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 love you guys thank you so much for being here for me for sharing for commenting for subscribing please continue to to show me the love continue to show me the love because what if it's the love that's making me look this time because i know your girl is looking you know Anyways, thank you guys so much. Please continue to like, continue to share, spread the gospel. I told you guys I was going to be giving you guys quality content, yeah? Don't worry. We're getting better with the whole thing. And with time, we're gonna, you know, get there. Everything is gradual, so make a decline the ladder slowly, you know. <laughs> so, until when next we meet, bye guys. I love you guys so much. Thank you. That girl loves you. Bye.